Howdy y'all, Matt here. Today is the day we're moving the chicks outside. They've been inside in the trough for a few days. They're stinking the place up. Now it's time to put them outside. So that's what we're doing today. Hope you enjoy. We're about ready to throw some chicks in here. So I got their heat lamp set up right over here and I'm gonna put another one over in this corner as well. I've got three feeders in here right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grab the feeder out of the trough upstairs. And uh, I'm also gonna grab their waterer. I have an automatic waterer that I'm gonna set up for right now. I'm just gonna use the bell waterer that, um, that I've been using for them in the trough. They're going through that pretty quickly though, so I want to make sure I have an automatic waterer so that uh, they don't run dry. We want to make sure that they have plenty of clean, fresh water, plenty of food, so uh, that's what we're going to do. I've got all my little helpers here, yeah. and we're going to pick them up, put them in this bucket here, and then take them outside. Three, four, I'm upside down. five, six, seven. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Hang on. Good job, guys. Come on. All right, so we got all the chicks here in the chicken coop, and they're gonna be in here for a bit just to grow up a little bit, and then right outside of here, I'm gonna have their little pasture that I'm gonna set up. We'll see how quickly they soil this. Their trough inside, they soiled that thing really quickly. Within probably 36 hours, that thing was was pretty pretty nasty. So. You want to make sure that you don't let it get out of hand. Once it gets out of hand, you're going to start forming lesions in the airways of these chickens and it's going to cause secondary infection, all sorts of things. Uh, to keep the birds healthy, keep their ground healthy. Do not let it get to an unsanitary uh, state. So make sure that you're on top of cleaning. If you've got bedding in there, change it. I'm going to take a look after a day or so, see how this looks. Um, and I might be moving their heat lamp around the place because they'll, they'll tend to congregate there so it'll really build up there. The other option is to use some pine shadings and you can put that down and then you can change those pine shadings as they get really soiled. So uh, we'll see what happens with this and uh, if we've got to put down some bedding, we'll do it. But right now I'm just gonna see how it works, just this. 